Hello, welcome back to the Unusual Wells YouTube channel. This video will go over how to create custom alerts to send into your Discord server. Please note that in order to send alerts to your Discord server, you will require a Discord server subscription. A link to the pricing page will be in the description box below. Just for your information, the server subscription also includes the base options flow subscription. Okay, let's get started. First, pull up the custom alerts page. I'll put a link in the description box. You can choose from any of the provided alert types. Let's create a few so you can see the process. A quick and easy one to start with is the politician trades alert. You can add additional filters as seen. For example, if we want this alert to only ping us for Pelosi trades, we can do that by inputting Pelosi in this field. The alert has been created as you can see here. Remember, you can receive this notification to your mobile device through the Unusual Whales app. Let's create two more alerts. Let's say you have an options watch list like I do here. If I go back to the custom alerts, I can get notifications if any of my watch listed options sees, for example, 1000 volume, I could add a few more things, but for the sake of this example, let's just do that. Just FYI, the alert is retroactive. What I mean by that is the alert I created for 1000 volume will look to see if any of my watch listed options has 1000 volume today, not 1000 volume since the time of the alert. Since many of my watch listed options do have 1000 volume, the alert is going through and pinging them now. Let's create one more alert. Before we do so, just remember that there is a wide array of alerts, as well as many different filtering options to choose from. On some of the feeds on the Unusual Wales platform, you will see this bell icon. Selecting this bell icon will load the current filters you have into a custom alerts template that you can quickly save like so. Okay, now that we've created a few alerts, let's go ahead and load them into the Discord server. Start by using command configure. Look for the custom alerts function. Using the dropdown, select any of your custom alerts. Please note that only alerts that are unpaused will show up in the dropdown. Alerts can be paused and unpaused from the custom alerts page. I will select all three alerts that we've created. As you can see, there is another alert that I didn't mention in the video. We won't do anything with this one. So I've selected all three and now must go through individually and designate the channel that I want them to send to. And that is it. You can see right here that the test channel that we have selected has been designated to push these alerts. Alerts will start pushing as they are received on your custom alerts feed. As you can see, the alerts are starting to push now. Many alerts will contain a link that takes you to that corresponding data on the website. That's it for this video. Let us know if you have any questions and thank you for your support.